crypto slow with more crypto gains what's going on guys hopefully your fourth of july weekend has been popping popping like bankroll i hope um so this video it's a quick video um i put it out on twitter and um, reddit and a couple other places and actually on that note i'm going to begin multicasting on multiple platforms um, there'll be varying content um, so look forward to an Instagram account, um, Facebook, DTube, Minds, um, you know, just with uh, YouTube censorship, um, you know, I want to make sure I get my message of mass adoption out to you to help you guys make those gains. So, topic of this video, Cash App. Cash App. So, I did a video a, little, a week or two ago on Cash App. And you know, it's a cool app. You get a nice little Visa card uh, to spend your cash. It's kind of like PayPal Venmo, and it's backed by Square. Now, the good news Cash App now has incoming deposits of BTC. Yes, you heard it incoming deposits of BTC. What does this mean? That means that we now have another payment gateway back to fiat that's almost instantaneous so you be you basically you could get money from your bank account you could buy bitcoin you could sell bitcoin you could withdraw your bitcoin but you could not deposit now obviously the implications there are that you know kyc aml they want to make sure that people aren't using it illicitly to um you know whatever for illicit activities of, of laundering money. So, with that being said, you're normal dude like me, you know. You're legit, you got a job, you go to work every day. Um, this is pretty awesome because basically you could sell your BTC anytime you want, charge up your Visa card, and go spend some money. Um, now, do a, will I be cashing out my BTC? No, but it's definitely a step in the right direction to have more fiat gateways. And as this crypto journey continues, you want to have multiple ways to um, liquidity. You know, whether that be through Coinbase, Gemini, you know, Coinbase takes time, takes a couple days. Um, and, you know, comparing this to the spend card that you have to maintain a certain level of coins and the fees and all that monkey business. Um, this is a pretty dope uh, thing. Now, from a FUD standpoint, uh, you know, people are like, have you have you looked at the Reddit? People's accounts getting frozen and stuff. Yeah, if you're doing shanky stuff, um, you know, you're, you might get your, your account frozen. So there's no guarantees with that. So don't carry a huge balance on your cash app, but it's definitely a nice little... Um, you know, gateway for you to use to uh, spend a little of your crypto if you want to. So, um, and also keep in mind, this is backed by Square, but they are holding your private keys. So as they say, not, you know, not your crypto, not your keys, uh, not your keys, not your crypto. Um, you know, as always, they're holding your keys. So if they lock your account, you know, you are wrecked, R-E-K-T. So keep that in mind, don't go crazy, um, but definitely cool. And keep in mind, you have to do the KYC AML, little monkey business of uploading your ID and a couple other things, do you work for a living, et cetera, et cetera. But definitely positive news and very progressive for the crypto community. Cash App now takes deposits, and that, my friend, is awesome news. So. Be safe out there tonight. Um, you know, do your thing. Get it popping. This is Crypto Slow. We're not talking gains. And we're not talking.